timing belt kit for 2005 Dodge Magnum from Amazon and the part number is TCKWP295D. We're going to jump in the car and get to work. I'm gonna give it a little bit of gas. So, <clears throat> I don't know if you can see it, but there's a pet cock right here to allow the water to drain out of the radiator or the coolant. Previous owner had uh, already done some work, the intake manifold gasket, so it's possible there's only water in here um, or very little coolant. Here, there's a bleeder right here. Uh, we'll go ahead and pop that so there's some air getting in. There we go. Get some air in the system here. Let's see if it's green. Nothing's really coming out. Taking the serpentine belt off. I don't know if you can see this notch right here. Or this uh, <clears throat> anyway, a 3 8 ratchet fits right in there. And then to loosen it, let's see. We go this way and we'll pop it off of a, the alternator pulley. So here's where we're at. So the next thing I'm going to do is get the power steering pump loose, set it to the side, get this tensioner off, and then start taking the cover off. For the power steering pump, we've got a 10 millimeter bolt here. One right here. I don't know if you can see that. And then another one down here at the bottom. Just gonna loosen them all first. side here. Uh, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take this tensioner off. It's a 15 millimeter. Not bad. Alright. So the tray that came with the kit is actually working out really well to be uh, for me to divide up bolts. assembly. So I'm going to start with unplugging it. And then there's two 10 millimeter bolts. There's one here, right here, and then another one under the radiator hose right here. And once these two bolts are out, this assembly you tilt it toward the motor 
from the top and then it just pulls right out forward now it looks like it's a good time to pull the harmonic balancer Starting to get some tension. Uh, so I'm gonna go grab, I believe it's a 24 millimeter uh, socket that goes on here. And we'll get this pulley off here. Hey, look at that. It works, it fits. And we are right up against the radiator, so you wanna take precaution there. bigger bolts. Uh, I've got a 15 here. Um, I believe a 15 right here on the stud. And then I believe it's a T30 Torx right here. Uh, 13's here and here. And then 10's for the rest of it. This bolt right here is a T40. Um, do not try a T30. I did and started to strip it. I was going easy, uh, hoping that it was going to work. But I went and grabbed the actual socket, the right size, and hopefully. Yes, you got to turn. I got lucky on that one. Um, so I'm definitely putting a list of tools uh, required for this, socket sizes, um, the, the pulley or the harmonic balancer puller I used, uh, things like that so that nobody else has to learn the hard way. Uh, all right, so I think this top cover should be loose. Okay, so the bottom cover still overlaps the bottom so I'm gonna go ahead and pull all those bolts out real quick for me this is like unwrapping a present for Christmas but I can't get the tape to rip or the paper because once I get this cover off and get the timing marks lined up, I'll know if I made the right decision by changing the timing belt. I'm pretty excited right now. So here's the bottom cover and taking off the top cover. 
cover. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go ahead and put the Torx where it goes. It goes right there. Um, is that where it goes? You know what? I actually kind of think it goes right there. Anyway, I think they did that just to kind of throw a curveball at somebody if they're trying to see this by themselves. So, alright, we need to mark top dead center, which is right here. We need to find the timing mark on, on the cam, or I'm sorry, on the crank, here. And then do the same over here. You can see the mark here. This mark should line up with this mark right here and then this mark should line up with this mark so here in just a minute I'll show you how to to turn this to, to check all right so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this to where the mark on the crankshaft We'll line up with the TDC top dead center and then see where these timing marks are in relation to these once that's done. So, what I'm going to do is put the, uh, the original bolt back in and I tried to find a socket that would make up the difference, but I can't find one. I'm thinking I should be able to run this in and be able to get it to come come out uh, once it's all the way in. I don't know. Hopefully this isn't the wrong thing to do, but I'm sure somebody will tell me. Alright, this is starting to look good. Uh, these timing marks are off. Heck yeah. I'm very excited about this. So, hopefully you can see here, there's a notch on the top of this bottom, this crankshaft pulley to the top dead center, TDC. And when that's lined up, this should be lined up with this, and it's not. Same over here this should be lined up with this and it's not this right here should be lined up with that so this is looking very good all right so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to pull this uh tensioner piston out and that should relieve tension here. The belt's still pretty tight. I'm just so glad it's not broken and I'm actually really glad that it's off time. So these are 13 millimeter bolts. See this? Actually, it looks like the same brand of belt that I bought. Looks like it says the gates on it. Okay, the belt's out. I think we're going to go ahead and take the tensioner out. It's a 15 millimeter.
here we go. Taking the last two bolts out. comes in what I'm gonna do is so here you can see I placed the bolts the same way they came out and so now I'm going to put them in the original one in the same spots so that I know that I'm getting them in the right location. I'm also going to try to get this broken one out and see what happens there. <laughs> well, I guess I got to go buy a bolt, dang it. Which is a good thing. Um, I'd rather get all the bolts back in. I'm going to go ahead and get everything else back in. That way I can just get this hole covered. I'm going to go ahead and start putting the new one in. Here's the old one. Here's the new one. So I'll go ahead and get these started, get the bolts going. Well, I'm going to clean the surface real quick. For the broken bolt that uh, goes to the water pump, I went to Lowe's and I picked up this uh, grade 8.8. .8. It's an M6 by 1.0 and it is 40 millimeters long. 
that will only matter if you are um, replacing the exact same one that I did. So basically there was a broken one. I was able to turn it out by hand once the water pump was out and then I just matched up the, the length of the shaft which was 40 millimeters. So I'm going to go ahead and install this as I'm doing the water pump. Alright, so all of my cameras decided to take a crap on me. Um, I'm just going to start tightening the bolts for the water pump. I'm starting to lose a little bit of daylight. Um, I think you can see this new bolt that I got from Lowe's actually. It's still a grade 8.8 uh, .8, and uh, I decided that the, the best thing to do would be to replace it because it was actually missing. The torque on these are 105 inch-pounds. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and get the cams lined up with the timing marks. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and put the belt on. I'm going to start down here. And in the video that I watched, um, the guy took some cardboard to use as a, a shim to hold it tight up against the bottom. So I'm going to do the same thing. And then... Uh, he also does the same once he gets up around here and then again over here so uh, what I did is I cut the box that the kit came in and I'll be using that for my shims back 
this off a little bit. This is a bit of a chore. I think this might be a good spot. What's going to happen once this actually gets going, uh, once the belt is being turned, uh, the belt's going to stretch anyway. So if we're slightly to the right of the timing mark, we're going to be fine. So now's a good time to put some more shims in. This just keeps the belt from popping off the teeth of the pulley. Shims down here. Got three shims up here. And now we're gonna come around the water pump. And I'm probably gonna go ahead and put the tensioner in. Or no, I'm gonna go ahead and get the this pulley lined up around the water pump. And then that way, Everything should be good to go. So here, I think I want to be a little bit to the right of the line. Kind of like this, because once we get tension on there, I think I want to be one tooth over. There we go. I think that's what I want. Maybe more.
All right, so this is why it's important to use the shims. Once you think you've got it where you want it, you need to go ahead and shim it. I think that one's too far off. Time to mark it slightly to the right. Time to mark here. Uh, it's right here. It's pretty much dead on. And then down here, it's dead on here. So I think we're good to get the tensioner in and the tensioner piston. And I'm gonna leave the shims in until we get those in place. put the tensioner piston in and the way it comes it's got this ring uh, a pull pin got kind of a grenade uh, this piston here is under tension so once it's in place we'll pull the uh, we'll pull the pin out and it'll push up on the tensioner and that's what keeps tension on it These are 13 millimeter. So before we pull the pin, we need to make sure that we are where we want to be with our lines. So here, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. And because I know the belt is going to stretch. I'm happy with this. It's not perfect, but I think we're in good shape. So now I'm going to pull the pin and then we should have tension on the belt. Um, just going to push on the belt here a little bit. All right, so here we go. You know, I think it just popped, so Okay, there we go Should have tension on the belt now All should be good. We should be able to pull these shims out. We're definitely in better situation than we were when I took it apart um, Now I'm just gonna do the reverse of putting it together or of how I took it apart and I'm running out of daylight, so I'm going to go ahead and do that um, without you. But if you have any questions, feel free to comment and ask whatever questions you got. We're going to see if she'll fire up. The only thing I got left to do is if it fires up, which I think it will, I need to tighten up the bleeder, but also I need to put the uh, hose clamp back on. I'll need to put cool one in it, but right now I just want to see if it starts. Oh, 
Well, how about that? It's got a little bit of a, a mist to it, but. It definitely running much better than since I got it. So uh, we'll see if any engine light comes on, uh, any codes come up, but uh, right now I'm pretty happy.